Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial and today we're going to be uh, installing Proxmox on a um, uh, or on a virtual machine actually. Uh, but before we do this, I'm just going to show you the new Proxmox server that I have done. Uh, this is an all-in-one PC. Uh, it's got about uh, 2 terabytes of space uh, in it uh, and it's also got 16 gigs of RAM so it's a bit of a way set up. Uh, I could run about 12 computers on this comfortably. You see on the last Proxmox um, um, computer, which I've still actually got set up, I can earn, it's only got 4 gigs of RAM. So um, the CPUs are a little bit better in the, in, in the um, other one, but um, hopefully the big cache, um, big cache spaces in the CPU will make up for the little... Um, the little CPU which is running at 1.9 uh, gigahertz so uh, with uh, quad core so yeah so I'm just we'll just wait for this to boot up uh, this shouldn't take too long this is Proxmox 7 um, so this is now officially a full-time server so there we go so now since that is loaded up we will log in and we'll actually install Proxmox we'll go through the Proxmox installation so we're going to be using a computer client for this. Um, but what I'll do is, well, since I've cloned the image, is I always make sure I can actually um, set up my own virtual Proxmox now, because I've I've actually cloned. So here we go over here. We got Proxmox VE. So what we're going to do is we're going to go start machine, um, and we'll go into the console. So if you double click. It should pop the console should pop up. So um yeah, let me oops. Let me uh for a second just put on full screen and get rid of the magnifier. So this is the Proxmox installation, so we go install. Oops. Install. So now we're going to install Proxmox uh, virtual environment in a virtual environment. <laughs> so you might as well say this is a, pro, a, a, a sub Proxmox system in a main Proxmox system, which this is the main Proxmox server here. And we're going to be installing the same software, but in a virtual environment. So we'll just leave everything as default, default. Everything is default. Time zone, I'll leave that as default. So we'll give this a root password. So I'll just call this password. Um, test VE1. Test VE1. And I'll just put the email address as no at no.com. So I'll just show you what I've done. <coughs> so what I've done, I'll just zoom in, is I've just set a uh, two passwords, which is testve1, testve1, and no at no.com is the email because I don't want to set up an email. For this particular server only because it's within a virtual environment so we'll leave the ip address it's got its own ip address he's then we'll just go next so this is the summary and we'll just go install so now we are installing proxmox 7 in a virtualized environment now so this is the installation that i that you go through when you install it on a physical machine except you'll use physical hardware such as a DVD or a um, USB, bootable USB. Um, when I actually installed it on this main machine, I actually used a um, DVD to do the installation because I've still got some blank DVDs over here. Um, over here somewhere there's some blank DVDs and I, I used that, so it was a bit old school, but it done the job and um, yeah. So I'm pretty much getting this one for a hundred dollars. Uh, 
just thanks to the um, using it as a server. But yeah, this is the Proxmox installation. Um, hopefully this won't take too long. And I've, I've, I've actually walked you fellas through the Proxmox, um, what it can do and some of the stuff. And also, so yeah, hopefully you learned something new today. Um, I just thought I would show how to install Proxmox. Uh, once you go through this installation, you just reboot it, and uh, once it's rebooted, it should give you the IP address you need to log into, and also um, the you just got to log in off the username root, and the password is the password you defined. So yeah, but I just thought I'd show my new Proxmox server, which is technically just a computer, but I've turned it into a server, and it'll do it'll serve me well, considering I'm going to be using this to host websites from my own house, and all that sort of stuff. A file server and everything like this all in the one server and this is good about virtualization is pretty much you can virtualize any server and that's just what we're going to do but until next time everyone have a good day hopefully you learned something and until next time cha cha.